In case you didn't know, pretty much every single vehicular character in Thomas the Tank Engine has a real life basis. The author of the original series, Reverend Audrey, was a massive train enthusiast and worked closely with his illustrators to portray his characters as engines he knew from real life. It wasn't only the trains, but other vehicles too, such as buses and tractors. Unfortunately, due to the nature of industry and its cruel path forward, many of these vehicles did not survive into the present day, and can no longer be seen outside of old photos and videos. Some of them have survived into preservation though, and can still be seen today. So that's what this video is going to be about, showcasing which ones survived and which ones didn't. Now, you may have seen a previous video of mine about which real life vehicles the Thomas and Friends characters are based on survived. At the time I was quite proud of the video and its view count, but it turns out that some of the information I provided was incorrect. Unfortunately, some of the fates of the vehicles I listed in the video were incorrect, as many, many comments pointed out. I appreciate it being corrected because that's how I learn, and it shows that I need to go even harder on the research. I disabled the comments on that video because the constant stream of comments correcting me got a bit stressful, but I'm leaving it up anyway as a monument to all my sins and proof that people can be wrong sometimes. I'm making this video now for two main reasons. One, as a way of providing more hopefully correct information. And two, I'm going to include the hit era this time, and some CGI stuff. All of my content on Thomas has been exclusively classic era, which to me is series 1 to 5. I never really had any interest in watching much beyond that, because even as a child, Magic Railroad and everything that came after it just felt wrong. Regardless of my own personal feelings on that, I still had requests to talk about engines from that era as well. So I'm going to include them here. Pretty much all of my information here comes from the Thomas and Friends wiki and various enthusiast sites, if I had to dig a bit more to get information, so that's where the credit comes from. Some of the characters in the show are pretty much made up by the artists and didn't have a significant real life basis, so if I'm missing someone, odds are it's because of that. Also some of them I just honestly couldn't find that much information on, so apologies if there's not really much there. I'm going to split these into different eras to differentiate them, starting with characters made by the Audreys, then characters exclusive to the model series, and then characters exclusive to the CGI series. So if you only care about one of those, then you've got a clear way of differentiating them, and you'll have a good place to stop if you reach the point where you don't care anymore. So grab a cup of tea and a biscuit, and let's sit back and enjoy the video. Thomas is based on the LBSCR E2 class tank engine, which were built between 1913 and 1916. Only 10 were built, and they were unfortunately all scrapped. I thought it would be a good idea to start the video with not only the main character, but also the sad reality of steam engines. Now, here's what I got wrong last time. Gordon was based on an Ellen Niar Gresley Class A1 Pacific, which were built from 1922 to 1935. Only one surviving member of the class still exists today, a little known engine you might have heard of called the Flying Scotsman. According to Audrey, Edward was based on the Furness Railway K2 class, built from 1896 to 1900. They were withdrawn between 1929 and 1931, and then scrapped. None survive. But there are a few other engines that Edward bears a strong resemblance to, such as the NBR K class and the LNER D40. Both of these have surviving members. Whether or not you want to count those is up to you. Percy is a bit weird because he doesn't actually have an exact basis. The closest real life engine which was probably based on is the Great Western 040 saddle tank, most notably Trojan, which was built in 1897. Some did survive it to preservation. Henry's pre-crash design was a bit of a hodgepodge of different engines, since he was experimental. However, his new ship was based on the Stania Black 5, built between 1934 and 1851. 18 engines of this type were preserved and still exist. James was based on the LYR Class 28, which was itself a rebuild of the Class 27, which were built between 1889 and 1918. All of the Class 28s were scrapped, but one Class 27 survived into preservation and still runs today. So I guess James is still around. Duck was based on the GWR Class 5700 Pannier tank engine, built from 1929 to 1950. These were incredibly prolific, with 863 being built in total. Out of those 863, 16 have been preserved. Toby was based on a J70 steam tram from the Great Eastern Railway, built between 1903 and 1921. Unfortunately, all of them were scrapped. Although there is one replica of Toby himself at the East Anglian Railway Museum. Donald and Douglas are based on the Caledonian McIntyre class, built between 1899 and 1909. Unfortunately, only one of these still survives to this day, which means only one of the twins is still here. Pick whichever one you want. 
Bill and Ben are based on the Bagnall 04 OSTs named Alfred and Judy. Judy was built in 1937 and Alfred was built in 1953. They are both still around today. Stephanie is based on the real life engine called Stephanie, which is an LBSCR A1X class that was first built in 1872. To be more specific, Stephanie itself was built in 1875. Ten survived into preservation to this day, including Stephanie. Oliver is based on the GWR14XX class built between 1932 and 1936. Four of them survived into preservation. City of Truro was based on the GWR3700 class built from 1901 to 1903. Only one survived, the real life City of Truro. Scar Louis is based on Talislin, built by Fletcher Jennings & Co in 1864. It was preserved and now runs on the Talislin Railway. Reneus and Smudger were based on Dolgoch, which was built by Fletcher Jennings & Co in 1866. Along with Talislin, it works on the Talislin Railway. Sir Handel is based on Sir Hayden, which was built by Hughes Locomotive Works in 1878. It was transferred to the Talislin Railway and still works there to this very day. Peter Sam was based on Edward Thomas, a class 04 narrow gauge engine that was built in 1921 and then later transferred to the Talislin Railway, where it still works. Duncan is based on the Andrew Barclay E-Class engine, namely Douglas, from the Talislin Railway. It was built in 1918 and still continues to work on the railway. Duke, and although he's not an Audrey character, Bertram, were based on the Festin York Railway's Prince, built in 1863, which makes him the oldest engine so far. Fitting, consider Duke's character. It still works on the railway today. Rusty is based on Midlander, a diesel built in 1941 that still works on the Talisman Railway doing maintenance work. Diesel, Ari, Burt, Splatter, Dodge and Sydney were all based on the British Rail Class 08, which were built between 1952 and 1962. There are still plenty around today. I know only Diesel is an orgy character here, but I put in the other ones here just for the sake of simplicity. Daisy is based on the British Rail Class 101-102, built between 1956 to 1959. 25 rail cars of this type have been preserved, with some still in use. Boko is based on the British Rail Class 28s called the Kobo. These were first built from 1958 to 1959, with only one surviving into preservation. Mavis is based on the British Rail Class 04, built between 1952 and 1962. 20 of them survived to this day. Rex, Mike and Bert are based on the River Esk, River Might and River Ert. They were all built between 1894 and 1966, and still exist on the Raven Glass Railway. I'm only now seeing what they did there with the names. The infamous troublesome trucks were based on the seven plank wagons that were used throughout British Railways, and can still be seen at various heritage railways and museums. Henrietta is based on the Great Eastern Railway, Wisbech and Upwell Tramway, four-wheel coach, built in 1883. Only one survived into preservation, named Irene. Annie and Clarabel were based on LBSC Stroudley coaches that, that were first built in 1870, and several of them still survive in preservation. The Spiteful Brake Van was based on the LNER 20 ton brake van, which was built between 1908 and 1929. There are a lot of them still remaining. Toad is based on a GWR 16 ton brake van, which was built between 1894 to the 1940s. Several of these still survive in preservation today. Bertie was based on the Leyland Motors Tiger Type PS1 PS2, built between 1927 and 1968. Many survived into preservation. Bulgy was based on an AEC Region B double decker bus, which were built between 1954 and 1969. These are still around. Terence the tractor doesn't have an exact basis, though he's most likely based on crawler tractors built in the 1920s and 1940s. Plenty of these still survive. Trevor's basis was the general purpose traction engine, nicknamed Fiery Elias, that was owned by Audrey's friend, the Reverend Teddy Boston, built in 1927. It still exists today. George is loosely based on an Aveling and Porter R10 steamroller from the 1920s. Several still exist in preservation. Harold is based on a Sikorsky S55 helicopter, which was first built in 1949. Several are still in use. The breakdown train is based on the 15 ton steam crane from Cohen Sheldon, built in 1912. One of these survived into preservation in Northern Ireland. Class 40, as the name suggests, is based on the Class 40 by British Rail. 200 of them were built between 1958 and 1962, and 7 of them were preserved. Caroline is based on a 1920s two door saloon car, most likely a Humber. A number of these were preserved.
Derek is based on the British Rail Class 17, built from 1962 to 1965. Only one of them survived. Salty was based on the BR Class 07 diesel shunter, which was made in 1962. Seven of them survived in the preservation. Diesel 10 was based on the BR Class 42 warship, which was built between 1958 and 1961. Two of them are preserved today. Dennis and also Norman were based on the BR 1101 class prototype diesel that was built in 1949. It wasn't a very successful engine and was scrapped. Harvey was based on the 040 Dubs Crane tank engine number 4101, nicknamed Dubsy, which was built in 1901. This engine survived to the preservation today. Emily was based on the GR1003 class Sterling Single 422 which were built between 1870 and 1895. Only one survives today, which was also the first one built. Arthur was based on the LMS Ivert class 2MT tank engine, built between 1946 and 1952. Four of them survived into preservation. Murdoch was based on the BR Stan class 9F, built between 1954 and 1960. Nine of them still survive today. Spencer was modelled on the streamlined LNER Class A4 Pacific that was built between 1935 and 1938. Six of them still survive today, including the famous Mallard. Molly was based on the GER D56 class, also known as a Claude Hamilton, along with the similar engines of the S46 and H88 class between 1900 and 1923. They were all scrapped, although a replica has been planned. <laughs> Neville was based on an SR Bullied Q1 class, built in 1942. Only one survives today in preservation. According to the wiki, the specific engine Neville was based on was number 33010 that was scrapped in the 60s in Swansea. I was born in Swansea about 30 years after that. That's not really relevant, I just wanted to put her in there. Rosie was based on an SR USA class tank engine, built between 1942 and 1943. Four of them survive in preservation in Britain, but there are many more around the world in various states of repair. WIF was based on the NER224T, specifically the number 66 named Aerolite, built in 1869. It still exists in preservation today. Is he just named WIF because he smells or what? Billy and Charlie were based on a Manning Waddle L Class 060, built between 1881 and 1926. There are at least three remaining today. Hank was based on a PRR K4 Class Pacific, built between 1914 and 1928. Two of them were preserved. Flora was based on a Mosley Road steam tram from 1904. None of them survived in the preservation. <laughs> Fergus was based on the Aveling and Porter 22OWT class railway traction engine, specifically engine number 9449, also known Blue Circle, which was also the final traction engine ever to be built according to the wiki. Blue Circle can still be seen today in preservation, occasionally dressed up as Fergus. Mighty Mac was based on the Festin Yog Double Fairly, built in the 19th century and still has engines running on narrow gauge lines today. Freddy was based on the Hunslet 262T narrow gauge locomotive built in 1906, specifically the one named Russell. It still exists today. Butch is a hybrid of a Scammel constructor and a Scammel pioneer, and examples of both still exist. Horrid lorries, according to the wiki, are based on the Foden OG range lorries, and some still exist. Hector was based on an ICI bogey hopper wagon, first built in 1936. Several of these still exist in preservation. Elizabeth and Isabella were based on a Sentinel DG4 steam lorry, which were first sold in 1928. Several of them have survived and can still be seen at events. According to the wiki, Jack was based on a Nuffield tractor, an International 454 tractor and a Foden tractor, which were all built during the 20th century and plenty still survive. Max and Monty were based on the Scammell Mountaineer dump truck, built in 1949. I'm not entirely sure how many survived, but I did find a thread from 2009 about someone photographing one in the shed, so I'll count it. Madge makes me uncomfortable just looking at it. I mean, what is that? Uh, oh, oh yeah. Madge is based on a Scammell 6 ton tractor lorry from 1964, and there are like 60 of them preserved, apparently. Cranky is, according to the art director Robert Gorgolier, based on a reference from lots of different cranes between the 1920s and 1950s. According to the 2013 Writer's Bible and Trading Card, Cranky is based on the various tower cranes provided by the Stothead and Pitt Company. Plenty of these are still around, so I guess Cranky survives? 
Rocky was based on a Ransoms and Rapier 45 tonne steam crane, built around 1945, and one still exists today, preserved at the Bluebell Railway. Jeremy was based on a BAC-111 airliner, built between the 60s and the 80s. Some still survive on display. Boulder is based on a boulder, made of rocks and other such minerals. Ryan was based on a GNR Class N2, built between 1920 and 1929. One of these survived into preservation. Scruff was based on a Sentinel 100 HP BE type steam locomotive, built between 1945 and 1946. Some still survive today. Stafford was based on the NSR Battery Electric No. 1, which was built in 1917. It survived into preservation. Porter is based on an HK Porter Class 060, built from the early 20th century. A few of these still survive. Samson was based on the Barclay and Co Works No. 214, built in 1877. Honestly, I could not find anything else regarding its current status, so I'll assume it's scrapped for now. Hugo was based on the. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Chain Zeppelin from Germany, an experimental rail car built in 1929. It was later scrapped. Rebecca is based on an SR Battle of Britain class locomotive, built between 1945 and 1951. Several of these still survive today. Skiff was based on the Spooner's boat from the Fiston New York Railway. The original boat's build date is unknown, but it's believed to predate steam, which places it in the pre 1860s. It was unfortunately destroyed in a collision in 1886, but a replica was later built that can still be seen today in replicas. Corner was based on an NYC 464 Hudson, built in the 1930s. None survived today, although a tender was preserved. Caitlin was based on the B&O P7 class, built in 1927. One still exists today, though in an unstreamlined state. Millie was based on an 040 well tank, specifically one named Tabama, that was built in 1911. It still survives today. Winston was based on the Type 4B two-seat Wickham trolley. There is at least one in preservation. Luke is based on the Kerr Stewart 040 Wren class, specifically the one named Peter Pan, built in 1922. This was preserved. Bell is based on the BR Stammen class 4MT, built between 1951 and 1955. A handful of these survived into preservation. Den was based on a Rolls-Royce Class 4DH Sentinel, built in the 1950s and the 70s. Several were preserved. Dart was based on a Bagnall 040 Shunter, built in 1962. It still exists. Bash and Crash were based on the Bear Harbour Lumber Company No. 1 engine, built in 1893. This still exists in preservation. Ferdinand was based on the Climax C class logging loco, built between 1888 and 1928. These still exist. Captain is based on a Royal Navy Liverpool class lifeboat from 1931. There are numerous boats of this type still around. Hero was based on JNR class D51 Mercado engine, built between 1936 and 1951. A few of them still exist today. Merlin was based on the LSWR N15 King Arthur class engine, built between 1918 and 1927. One still survives today. Whew, I think that's everyone. Hopefully I got them right this time. If there's any mistakes or ones I left out, please let me know and I'll put them in a pinned comment so other people can read it if I need to. Some of the characters are pretty much just made up by the artist, so of course I didn't include those. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something interesting today if you didn't know any of these. Or if you did, then I hope you listened to me anyway. I love reading feedback and what other people think, so please let me know. Thank you for watching and have a great day.